As Friday's fighting intensified, black smoke billowed up into the evening sky over Aleppo. Gathered near the historic old city, fighters of the Free Syrian Army clashed with forces of President Bashar al-Assad. As government troops advanced towards the 17th century market in the heart of one of the world's oldest and continuously inhabited cities. As the street battles ensued, Assad's forces attacked the local population, including civilians, from their stronghold located in Aleppo's 13th century citadel. From their elevated positions, Assad's forces fired into the old city, devastating the area controlled by the Free Syrian Army. <laughs> Over the course of the following days, as the fire continued to burn uncontrollably, hundreds of shops and medieval houses were scorched and destroyed. <laughs> Man, I saw a lot of uh, things make me cry. I love Aleppo. I love the old city. I love our historic. It's big. It's something great. And Al Assad destroyed it. As the best preserved souk in the Middle East burned, I met with vendors and fighters with the Free Syrian Army as they helped small business owners salvage silks, spices, and perfumes from their scorched storefronts. And I saw our history, our history that uh, Tatar barbari, uh, barbarian uh, don't, uh, they didn't touch it, and Assad destroy it. My heart broken. M I was crying blood. One of the world's best preserved souks has been lost forever. The destruction of such a significant cultural relic further undermines any notion of understanding and peace in the region. The old city was the most beautiful things in the world for me, and it's now gone.